Ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable President of India, Shri Pranab Mukherjee. Please join me in extending him a very hearty welcome. Also requesting our uh, distinguished dignitaries, the Honorable Minister, to kindly join in the auspicious act. And in the interest of our international delegates, as you can see, each wick which is being lit, it is being passed from one person to another. That represents the sharing of knowledge. Ladies and gentlemen, in order to raise awareness, conserve and use our water resources in an integrated manner, the Ministry of Water Resources Government of India has organized the India Water Week 2013, which is on the theme, Efficient Water Management, Challenges and Opportunities. Towards this end, we would like to extend thanks to all of you and we seek your collective vision, knowledge, experience, expertise, your state-of-the-art technologies, your best business models and good practices. And towards this participatory approach, the Ministry of Water Resources Government of India would like to place thanks to the Honorable President of India for inaugurating this conference and to all of you. May I request Dr. S.K. Sarkar, respected Secretary, Ministry of Water Resources, for his welcome address. Honorable President of India, Honorable Minister of Water Resources, Member Planning Commission, Special Secretary, Ministry of Water Resources, Distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Government of India, Ministry of Water Resources, it is my privilege to welcome you all at the inaugural session of the India Water Week 2013. This is the second year the Ministry is organizing the India Water Week. The theme of the conference is Efficient Water Management, Challenges and Opportunities. As you all know, Water is a scarce natural resource and fundamental to life. Reports show that the India would be under severe water stress by 2050. In India, there is a very high variability of rainfall in space and time. The per capita availability of water in India has declined over the years. At the same time, the increasing demand for water has been seen in all sectors and would likely continue in the future. The population in India projected to be about 1.7 billion by 2050 would require enhanced food security. Against this background, the theme of the Water Week is very much relevant. The conference will discuss inter alia availability and management of water in agriculture, irrigation, domestic use and energy generation. The conference will spread over 17 sessions, 9 panel discussions and 6 brainstorming sessions. A regional day is also proposed on improved efficiency for increased resilience to climate change. The conference will also draw upon regional experience not only from India but across the South Asia region on the subject. As you know, the Water Mission is also organizing a special event on water footprints, its application in water use efficiency. The entire event is a joint effort of various ministries and various institutions. The overseas participation is from 20 countries. More than 1,000 delegates are expected to participate during the Water Week. We welcome all the dignitaries. We are grateful to the Honorable President of India for sparing his valuable time and guiding us during this session. We look forward, sir, to your kind advice on the subject. 
my special welcome goes to the overseas delegates especially honorable deputy minister of dubalu who have come all the way to india and who are willing to share their experiences on the important subjects such as water i also welcome the representatives of the media who are present here today and request them to give proper coverage to this event to raise public awareness on the subject of pressing importance thank you respected sri pranam mukherjee honorable president of india respected dignitaries on the dais respected dignitaries from abroad respected delegates friends from media honorable president we are highly grateful to you for accepting our invitation to inaugurate the india water week 2013 i welcome you on behalf of myself my colleagues and all the delegates who have assembled here from india and abroad i would also like to extend my warm welcome to all the respected delegates who are kind enough to find time to join us on this occasion respected president your presence here is tantamount to the importance being given to the water sector in our country your blessing will go in a long way in inspiring us for putting the whole hearted efforts in addressing the water related challenges and bringing solution to them since 2012 the ministry of water resources is celebrating the india water week to showcase our sincerity and efforts in exhibiting the importance given to the water sector in the country India Water Week a 5 day long event provides excellent forum for policy planner water managers professionals scientists academicians non governmental organization and other stakeholders to deliberate on the issues here, therein the event provides us platform to share the best practices adopted across the world it has helped us in generating innovative ideas in recognizing the significant works by the individuals and the organizations respected sir this year the india water week program will begin with your inaugural speech on the theme efficient water management challenges and opportunities growing population and urbanization combined with fast increasing developmental needs have put a tremendous pressure on our water availability we are now a country of more than 121 billion people which is about 18% of the world population with 4% of the total usable water and 2.3% of the agriculturable land available in the world our problem is multidimensional our challenges are going to be further compounded due to the climate change honorable president i am highly obliged to you for highlighting the enormity of the situation by once observing that we are now already a water stressed nation and with further reduction in per capita availability of water will soon be a water scarce nation one of the identified goal of the national water mission is increasing water use efficiency by 20% the strategies identified for achieving the objective of increasing water use efficiency cover wide range action such as adequate provision for operation and maintenance of water resources project promotion of water efficient techniques and technologies improving efficiency of water supply system efficiency leveling of water appliances and fixtures equitable distribution of water and rational charges for water facilities promotion of mandatory water audit including those for drinking water purposes We have also laid emphasis on incentivizing the use of efficient irrigation practices, recycling of water, including water and waste water, in different manners. Undertaking pilot project for improvement in water use efficiency in collaboration with the state has also been proposed in the National Water Mission. Our scheme for information, education, and communication is aimed to create awareness among various target groups about the importance of development and management of water resources in a holistic manner. Effective transfer. of technology and knowledge and sharing of experiences among developed and developing countries and their implementation need to be promoted to further the cause of efficient water management sir india water week 2013 will be able to provide opportunity to usher in new and innovative thinking and will come out with the best practicable solutions i am confident this that this occasion will progress as a landmark event facilitating a frontline discourse on various contemporary issues concerning water sector for national as well as global fraternity with these words honorable president i welcome you 
and I welcome all the participants of these events on this pious occasion. Thank you. Thank you very much.